All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Heel Drag. Yep. And it's your boy, Nani, mm -hmm. and your boy, Atmosphere, over here. And we're rocking some fire ass kicks today. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. What do you got on today? Uh, right now, I have the Nike SB Low Blazer Vanderlint. Kind of like a fish themed. Fishing. I love fishing. Uh, what you got on? I got the Shattered Backboard 1.0s, the pinnacle of the ones, you know what I mean? Like, everybody talks about that. I need SBs B. Uh, quality shout out oh, yeah, quality that's the one that if it's go not to. that then i don't i don't want it great so what what are we gonna do today what we're gonna do today is we gonna, we team early team put early. us on team early <laughs> and we got a beautiful shoe to show y'all today what do we right? got? that's my little drum roll <laughs> sorry first off let's talk about the box yes we got the all black box snake skin mm. big old kobe logo you're not y'all know what it is yes know yes what time it is so um i think the box looks sick though yeah you know it's a I mean? very nice detailed box <laughs> Here you go. I'll put wow. that out for you. But we have the Kobe 6 Reverge Grinch's early release uh, for us. Uh, we did not hit on sneakers. We yeah. paid resale for them. Shout out to Sneakerhead. You paid resale. I paid resale for <laughs> it. You know what I mean? I'm paying the resale for it. But I love this shoe. Wow. Needed to have it. Um, let's first talk about the materials that's used on it. Yes, sir. I believe it's synthetic leather on top. Nice. Translucent bottom mm, yeah i see it it's only yeah. on the on the this part uh, i on noticed the that top, the toe pop the top part yeah yeah so we have some carbon was it carbon fiber carbon fiber on the bottom and the, then of course like um i think this is a uh, rubber rubber, rubber, I would say rubber yeah. so half rubber half translucent nice um, beautiful a really shiny i don't know if you notice that too like the really shiny midsole huh? yeah they this Dude. this whole fucking shoe is shiny yeah, look at it. It? yeah. it's a really shiny midsole then we have um, the painted black swoosh painted black swoosh mm -hmm. beautiful green laces it does not come with extra laces fellas and ladies is that a deal breaker uh nah. i wish it came with the red one yeah that would have been crazy because if you don't have the red laces then you're gonna have to get the ogs to complete that and <laughs> get your red laces yeah to get your red laces but it's an expensive red lace <laughs> i know 900 <laughs> red lace Fuck, dude. but you know we have the kobe logo on it as well too beautiful and then the inside oh that's my favorite part that's bro. the sickest part right so on my shoe it says i want to shoe that molds to my feet and it says molds to your feet on that one yeah wow yes and you said um what's it, uh kobe wanted to shoot to like literally yeah. and that's what usually like nike athletes like usually have that um mm. like when they do like the their signature the signature shoe yeah. um they have it molded to their foot so really that's why a lot of these shoes like sometimes they'll be different sizing and stuff and all that but yeah. um kobe's like he has like more of a narrow foot and longer you could see it yeah yeah so then that's why they mold it off of that and that's Skinny why sometimes foot. like it is very um different <laughs> yeah so as far as sizing like what would you recommend on these yeah sizing you got to go a half size up or a full size up full for, size up. For, for for wide feet you know what i mean Damn, if you're narrow man. i think you can do the true to size but um for me i wear a 10 and a half i usually get either uh an 11 or an 11 and a half so i am a narrow footed guy and i did try these on earlier yeah um i would i'm a 10 and a half i probably would get an 11 11 exactly because yeah. um it does have a lot of padding inside too guys so very tight it's bro. just gonna be like super like uh, tight to your foot but that's the reason for it when you're playing basketball and performance shoe you Obviously. don't want this shoe to get off your foot so right they do stand really good they're a beautiful shoe 10 out of 10 quality wise mm. i think they executed very well also forgot to talk about the kobe logo on the heel of course but you know i mean that's with every signature um the kobe the course, sixes and then um i'm just a little disappointed about the not the extra laces but yeah overall a beautiful shoe a dub. and then um it's a dub if you can hit for retail right <laughs> so um they're coming out the 16th or the 15th yeah the 16th they're coming out so they come out to the 16th worldwide to everyone i mm -hmm. think even some boutique shops will have it, like undefeated and yep. other stops like that yep. so but the l come on sneakers out again so i heard supposedly that if you um lost like a couple of kobe sneaker releases that you'll, you have, you'll an have opportunity a better to get chance these. yeah you'll get like a slew savage well, swap so i'm hoping yeah i've never hit on a kobe and i've entered a bunch so I'm, i better get these shit exactly <laughs> so i'm bet i'm hoping to get another pair double up i'll be super double happy up with shouty that. yeah heck yeah i'm doubling up um it's a nice shoe. wait a second i just noticed some sick ass details on the rubber uh, oh yeah that's the braille i forgot yeah so what is this that's braille it's like for like people for right like, for yeah, the for the blind for the blind right but what is it do you know what it spells uh, i think it's it has to say something i think it's kobe s or something i think okay. it's kobe sick, six bro. or something like that lovely I um, yeah a lot of these uh the kobe sixes they all have bro right there lovely so i think that's a good uh i would say a good review on the good review on now it. let's do some projections so mm. right now you bought them from the resale market you kind of paid 
you know, I top paid, dollar. I paid. I think I paid top dollar, but when they first came out, they were um, up there. No? They were on a thousand dollars. Damn, right? dude. Yeah, when they first came out, yeah. pre-release. Now, since with the release and all that, the early the release, shock drops. The shock drops. There we go. Five to six, right? Mm-hmm. I paid five seventy-five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, so yeah. since I paid five seventy-five, it's like it's kind of high right now. Mm-hmm. I get it. Mm-hmm. But I also don't want to go to the struggle and, you know, the fear of not getting them. So yeah, that, them. that's going to be a, the majority of us. We're not going to get these, bro. Yeah. Exactly. Only if you're going to pay resale. So. Exactly. Um, I, I assume right now, you know, especially times, especially the holiday times are coming up, it's going to be a $500 shoe still. Uh-huh. So for, and okay. I think it might reach, I could see it reach up to seven, honestly. Really? Like on I, the long run? Yeah, honestly, because cause it's a beautiful shoe, like. Kobe's usually retain their value, of course. Yeah, yeah. Especially when it's a sought-after shoe. A lot of people, you know, probably don't rock with Kobe that much, but just the color alone kind of does elevate that, uh, like, probability. Yeah, and then every single Christmas, everybody's going to want the shoe. I mean... Or the OGs. And I I think people will trend trend more toward this one because it's less uh expensive so it's more affordable oh gotcha see so that might, that, okay. that might have that wow. might have something to do with it i think you got some little info right there in the stock market okay, okay. I, I see it okay um, honestly i do like the colors and this is good all year round shoe to me yeah for sure um swap out the put them the red laces maybe some black laces on these things brother oh yeah the black too <laughs> yeah you know there's a lot of possibilities you could do um uh you could rock them anywhere uh anytime any time of the season um i would project these to Okay, around the Christmas time, people are going to want these. I feel oh, like yeah. th- these are in a lot of people's Christmas list. Everyone's going to expect it to be because Santa Claus will bring it. From what I know, there's men's sizes and there's youth sizes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There yeah. is youth sizes. So I know for a fact uh, there's going to be a lot of people wanting these. Um, so um, the stock is pretty high on these, right? Uh, 300,000 pairs, guys. Uh, for uh, for a Kobe. Yeah. So That's a lot because I think mm-hmm. like the most, it's like been like 50. Yeah, that's what I'm 60. saying. Yeah. So with that being said, okay, it's a sawed-off thick kick. It'll definitely sell out. Um Right now in the in the in the holidays is gonna be high. I'm gonna project it to be around the same price, maybe a little lower, five to four. Okay. Five to four. And then next year I, I could see these go down to go down, yeah, go down to three fifty. Really? That's a bold take. I think Yeah. Dang, three? The stock is high. Okay. Uh-huh. And uh not a, a lot. Of, maybe a lot of people are just gonna see this as a seasonal kick, which is lame as fuck to me. True, I I can see that happening. It might it might dip down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I'd say yeah, it'll probably dip down. Yeah, like two, three fifty. But you said it will be like seven. I think it could hit to seven. Damn, actually. we're actually like in a different. <laughs> yeah, different different uh perspective. I just think that because um, it's such a shot up to shoot. People have been wanting this shoe so hyped, and then as a Kobe fan, like. People are gonna beat them up quick. Like, oh, they're gonna yeah. beat them up quick. Come like on, these no. are gonna go. Like people are gonna go through. A whole so many pairs right away, right. especially because they're like people are gonna ball these. Right. Well, uh, speaking of balling, weren't these like uh like who wore these again like for the first time? Oh, Anthony Davis wore these for the first time mm. on Christmas two years ago. Two years so ago. So everybody's been hyped since that, you know. So we've been wanting that. Wow. And on top of that, the Kobe Six is the most. And I read I did this on an article. I read it on an article. Kobe Six is the most wore hoop shoe of. Uh, You're lying. Year. Oh shit. Everybody wears Kobe Six. Oh my god. So that's why. That's why I think that's why it's there. It's just the coverability, the style of it, and it's a hoop shoe. Gotcha. Wow. Well, with that being said, um, what? Uh, okay, on your we're do, we're gonna do a, like a top ten list at the end of the year, right? Yes, sir. Do these make it? Oh, for sure. Yeah. This is top three. Max might be one. Okay, so for me, I agree with you. These are definitely top ten, top five, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Dude. And and that's coming from a guy that doesn't know shit about basketball. <laughs> hey, unless, as long as you're preaching, you're my realm now. You know, what Yo, I mean? no, like, you want the uh, SBs the, with you. <laughs> now you got. I'm in my realm with my Kobe. Bro, these are beautiful. You yes. you cannot like who's gonna not like these? Exactly. Fucking right? weirdo, right? <laughs> <laughs> weirdo. Weirdo. What there the fuck? Uh, okay, so okay, final question. Um, okay, everyone wants to know: Would are are, are these better than the original Grinches? Mm. Mm. No, for me. Cause you know, Straight as a Kobe up. fan, I I love the OGs. You okay. know, what I mean, Kobe wore the OGs, so I I have more of a sentimental value with those, mm. and I just think I just love the Grinch of it. And you own those too. And I own those too. And I wear those for sure. <laughs> and then uh, I wear one and one. Who knows? Damn, you never know. Be fire. But I would say this though. Um, I do love the aesthetic of this because this reminds me more of a Christmas shoe. Yeah, yeah. And we yeah. talked about that too. Mm. And uh, LeBron did this already, like a silhouette with his couple of shoes already with the nines, the, the eights. Nines, yep. So um, I'm glad it's on a Kobe silhouette now. So finally. So this is sick, though, dude. Like you know, what I mean, Christmas. You see this? It screams Christmas. I might. Wear this was more. Sweater. This is more uh, Christmassy than the Grinches. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, I, I, as far as the colors, yes, they're, they're called Grinches, you know, for sure. But like, 
you really don't see a Christmas color on those neon ones, you know? Yeah. But these for sure are these, especially with the green laces on. Yeah, exactly. Christmas. This just looks like a Christmas yeah, shoe yeah. All, automatically, yeah. So, um, honestly, I, you know, like I said, I'm not a big basketball dude. I do like Kobe a lot. Um, but I think uh, these are way better than the Grinches. Wow. Like, okay. like straight up. I see that because I love red too. And yeah. I, and it's just more, more wearable, right? Right. So, would you rate these out of 10? These are a straight 10. Straight honey. Straight 10. Like this is. Broke the scale. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. These are uh, these are great. I, I, I like them a lot. All right. Well, these are enough for these, but um, yeah. we got something else special for y'all. He we got, do. He got something for me. So Yeah. We got a little, little game excited. to play. All right. I'm trying to go viral, man. Any clicks, yeah. any likes, any follows. I need the clickbait. So we're going to do a little game called This or That. This or That Retro Jordans versus Hype Jordans. Oh, okay. OG colorways versus like Hype colorways? Is there? Oh, bet. Okay. All right. So. And then maybe you could tell me some and or like whatever, like at the end, okay. but I want to give you some. Okay, bet. All right, so right off the bat, I'm going to hit you with a banger. Bet. Jordan 1 Chicago or the Jordan 1 Travis Scott OG Mochas. Chicago's all day. Really? I, I like I like red. So it's like, that's, that's, a, that's a no banner for me. Like, that's why, and I had both pairs, right? And I sold the the Browns because I'm a cool with them. Yeah. Had my time, but I can't sell my, my Chicago's. No. Uh, it's co- Jordan wore that. You know what I mean? Like, I want to wear it. Like, it's such an easy shooter for me to wear. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, the Travis's are sick, but if I had to choose OG to hype, most of the time I'll do OG's. Gotcha. Okay, we're going to do some. Uh, we're doing a Jordan 1. Because okay. this is actually kind of interesting. Uh, uh, this is like, okay, hype aside, you know, obviously there's some uh, hype shoes that are worth way more, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, this is, is it Jordan 1 Royal. Okay. Or the Jordan 1 Fragments. Fragments. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so I, I I like the Royals. I like the color blocking, but the Fragments is, is just a better color blocking for me. Bro, okay. I, it looks so sick. You the know blocking I mean? is better? Yeah, I think the blocking is better for you me. You think it's kind of hype, like, like too hype for the... Too hype for the Frags for sure. But if they, <laughs> if I had a choice and it was this or that, right? This or that. This or that. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't have to pay for nothing. I'm taking the frags. You wow. Know what I mean? Just in general. Like, I think the color block is nicer. I like the white toe. And I think it's just a sick shoe. Damn, over the Royals. Yeah. Over the Royals. Yeah, exactly. That's fucked up. I mean, See, I, I just, I was just saying OGs over, but you, you got me on that one. <laughs> All right. No, but uh, to me, I think I'd get the frags too, honestly. Okay, cool. Yeah. I wouldn't, you know, Royals, I've owned the Royals, you know? Yeah. I just, so, yeah. uh, it's a beautiful shoot, man. Frags, man. Okay, so we're gonna go with okay. There's so many uh, classic Jordan Four colorways. I'm gonna go with my favorite, the breads. Mm. Um, oh, you can choose the breads or them off whites. Breads. <laughs> See, uh, I, I've been said it on the, the sale colorway, by the way. Okay, yeah, beautiful shoot. I bet I said it in the. Hey, in bro, the, those are the, clean. Beautiful, I beautiful. But I said it in the podcast earlier. I think you could bear me in those breads that's my first shoe so it's like hands down no matter what you could put that shoe to anything you can ask me chicago's you can ask me anything any I'll, that it'll anything i'm taking the bread fours all day wow every day wow so that was a, that was a no-brainer for me yeah me too uh, that's that's one of my favorites for sure but you know what i really like those off those off whites are insane it's if the perfect t- color if you would have told me uh military blues or white cement white cement you would have t- uh, wait so you would go i would think about it sale over white cements Ooh. No, 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 no! I no, fucking no, win, yeah, it, bro. Yeah, Are you kidding me? Yeah, like is- <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with the fives. Fives is to me one of my favorite, a most underrated Jordan, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go with the OGs, the metallics. Ooh, okay, okay. Black metallic. All right, all right. Or the off white. Uh, I'll go with the black one. I feel like that one's more the muslins. Yeah, the, no, muslins. The, is that that's what they're called? Yeah, the off white fives. The off white fives. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take the the off whites. <laughs> Yeah, because I had them. You did? Yeah, and they were dope. The black pair. Yeah, I, 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 I at first so I didn't far, like dude. them, and mm-hmm. then I seen them on my homie's feet, and I'm like, dude, those are sick. Crazy, and I huh? got them in my hand. I got a good deal on them, and dude, they were so fire, especially with the white laces. I had the the silver colorway, the off whites. Those I don't like. Dope, bro. Yeah, no, I again. actually did like those. No, those I'm good off of. They you look like the yellow. yellow. Yeah, they look <laughs> piss yellow. I'm good. But the Jordan metallics, I, it's so close. So, because I'm like the metallics are so. I've owned the metallics like. So many times I've owned the the twenty threes and then the ones that re, the, with the air in the back. Yeah, so bro, it's a, when they're brand fucking new, dude. Beautiful. <sighs> Woo, I love them. But I, I honestly, I'll probably take those off whites. Okay. Off whites, muslins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna test you, right? Mm. So we're gonna do Nike SB this or that, right? Gotcha. So I got a couple of them in mind, but I have first the Grateful Dead's versus the Bear Pack. The Oops. the three bears. 
you take the three bears? Uh, yeah, that's what you're referring to, right? The yeah, three, yeah, yeah, three bears. One hundred percent. Any any OG in the game are taking them those three bears over the fucking Grateful Dead. I'm sorry. Really? Honestly, though, those bear pack, uh, the, the 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 Grateful, Grateful Dead? Dead, bro, that orange pair. I was say the orange ones, dude. Oh, are you my serious? Goodness. Uh, yeah, I think I would go Grateful Dead. <laughs> Damn, that's that's a that's an L for you, man. L L. <laughs> yeah. Jason Voorhees Ooh, has bees. Raises the Freddy Cougars. So this was originally, they were going to release together as a horror pack in the gold box era. Uh, but for some reason, the Freddy Cougars got caught. Yeah, because they were trying to, was it the copyright or yeah, something yeah, like that? Did they, they get actually, approved? Yeah. And, but it was so subtle. I don't know why they caught that one, not the Jasons. But if I was going to be honest, bro, to me, those Jasons are way better than those Freddies. Whoa. Yeah. The only reason why the Freddies are super, super hype is because it's of what of happened. The exclusivity of it. Yeah. But you know what? There's one that's way more exclusive, and that's the Jason Voorhees Lowe's. Oh, okay. I've and that's a sample those. pair and that shit. Oof. Like, I know people would want that one more. More than the high. Than the, the, than the Freddies. Freddies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Dude, I think the Freddies are the best SBs of all time. <laughs> nah. That's, like, on my list. It's because, um, I said, I said, no, I just dressed up, like, I tried to, like, get, like, I, I was a big Freddy fan, so I used to have, like, the a Freddy, Freddy sweater. Uh, sweater. Yeah. Nice. And I used to, everyone used to call me Freddy, and I'd be like, that's sick. So, when I found out they had a shoe... I was like, bro, it's I a dope shoe. Yeah, it's a dope shoe. I like it. I like Freddy more than Jason too. I, I also like the sample pair of Freddy better than the regular ones. Oh, there's a couple of them, huh? Yeah, fire. Would you rather have the Dooms, MF Dooms, mm. or the Iron Maidens? Whoa, damn, this one's actually pretty sick. Um, you know the the Iron Maiden ones. I, I, it was kind of tacky, you know, because it just has the picture of Eddie in the side panels. Yeah, I just love that Iron Maiden bold ass print yeah. on the back of the heels. Doom is also represented really nice on the fucking ins the 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 outsoles outsoles yeah I love the Doom logo like mm -hmm. they, this is these to me are the best okay. yeah music inspired shoes of yeah. all time like these two right here these are the, the the ones but if I were to choose one and I saw Travis rock them oh, the, the Iron Man Iron dude the Iron Manes are insane mm -hmm. I think the quality looks insane I seen That's them in person sweet, too. Dog. I think I seen him in person, or I think I seen another uh, shoe. I think someone. you sent it to me, uh, a picture of it. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. When you went to Vegas or some shit, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see him in yeah, person. Yeah. yeah. And then I also saw the Melvins, but that's completely oh, different. Beautiful Melvins. Yeah. Shoe. I love this. But no, nah, I think you know what I mean. I'm a Doom skis. I'm a Doomsday. So my boy, I'm, I'm gonna go uh, Dooms all day. All right. All right. And last but not least, we have the Lobster Pack, Lobster all of them, pack. and all of the Tiffany packs. See this one, okay. You have every single one shoe of each pack. I know the Tiffany's are less, right? Or they might be the same. We got the highs. We got the white diamonds, the black diamonds. Black diamonds. You got the OG um, lows. You got the high. I mean the. I mean the canaries. The canaries. Ooh. That's the one that. Okay, canaries. well uh, the lobsters. You got okay, lobsters. red, blue, uh, purple, green, and then orange. Yeah. Oh, and then yellow. And oh, yellow. they also. <laughs> Yeah, and the yellow ones. And they, they also have that, that I would say, rumored that friends, white one. Friends and family friends one. Friends and family one. Yeah, the silver one. Or that, silver, that, yeah. that platinum as well. Yeah, platinum. There we go. That's better. So the with the tiff with the tiffs, bro, it's it's go, it goes down to the most exclusive pair. It it does. Because I think I've owned almost all of these shoes. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So the only one that I didn't own were the exclusives from each. Oh, and the Tiffany's. I never owned the OG Tiffany's. Oh, okay. Just because I never liked them that much. What? But uh, if I was going to compare the yellow lobster and Jesus. the canary. Oh, they're both yellow too. This is so tough, honestly. But you know, okay, this might trigger people. I'm going with the canaries. Bro. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> like, yeah, like, the can Hell those, yeah. Those are so. It's those just, are so fire. I wanted them at a moment in time. I woke up to that day and I was like, if I sell all these shoes in here, <laughs> I can buy my canaries. Bro, at the time, at that time when they uh, reselled, when they dropped, it was only three grand. Yeah, that's what that it we're was around only three grand. grand. Four yeah. grand. Yeah. So I was like, hey, dude, if I sell all these shoes, I could be good, and that would have been a better investment because look how much they're worth now. Yeah, they're fuck. They I was in a. I, 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 I saw them in person at um, Unban LA. Wow, it was the owner's pair, and it was not my size. So was kind of if it was my size, I was gonna wow. buy them. I liked uh, how they were so exclusive, and I think if you were in that complex con, you could have bought them too. Yeah, you got an exclusive, like dude. So, Tiffany pack over the lobster pack. Uh, I don't know about that, but I'll, just, I'll definitely <laughs> I'll go canaries over yellow lobster. No, what I asked was Tiffany or 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 lobsters. The, all the lobsters look the same, so I'll go Tiffany. Okay, thank God. Yeah, I, was, I was I was thinking too. Oh, well, I think that was pretty good. You know, that was a really fun game. Yes, sir. Uh, we got a little uh, exclusive <laughs> first. First, first tip, team early. Team and we early. We might get some more team early stuff. Maybe oh, we'll get blessed up. with some uh, 
Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we'll we, see. Yeah. We're gonna put it into existence, right? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Put it Man- into existence. Manifest it. You know, I said this. I had that in my head the whole week, and then boom, it showed up. Next, you know, we might have some Powerpuff Girls up on here. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that was it for our episode. Episode five, right? Episode cinco. Episode cinco of uh, Heel Drag TV. Yes, sir. It's TV and some social media. Follow us on our social medias. We're going to be also, oh, I'm going to be um, uploading on Spotify and Ooh. iTunes podcast very soon. So for you guys that want to listen to on the go, uh, keep a lookout. I'll send you guys the links and all that good stuff. Yeah. And we'll just, you just follow us on our social media. Ask us any questions, too. If you, if you guys have anything interesting that you guys want us yeah. to talk about. We get a lot of feedback from you guys. Yeah. All feedback. All feedback is good feedback for us. Talk shit in the comments. All, yeah. We, please. We, we, we accept it all. Yes, please. Yeah. So that was it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. And we see you guys on the next one. Peace.